Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what unexpected news you can expect in the next 30 days, okay? So this is blessings, this could be careers, can be love, we're going to see what wants to come out for each of the groups. So we have group number one, group number two, group three and group four, so please choose your group. If you need extra time, please pause the video, all the timestamps will be down below and in the comments section as usual. So. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's happening for you guys in the next 30 days. So starting with group number one. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel. So let's get started with your reading. So let's see what unexpected blessings you can expect. We have two crystal cards here. We have opal and we have ruby. So very, very strong crystals there. Very much about kind of expression and passion and what your drive is, what you feel really, really excited about. So. Opal says when you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, an energetic block. And then the Ru Ruby says when you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious, when your sex life needs a tablespoon of spice, when the doldrums have you down, reach for beauty and some really red lipstick and come out swimming, feed your fires. So it said feel all your feels and feed your fires. So basically it's kind of about just feeling into things. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be meeting somebody who will fuel your fire in terms of a sensual energy. Um, it could be that for you guys, it's just having passion about something. You may have lost your passion for something. And for you guys, some of you, it could be you guys need to get something moving. And it says an energetic block, a project, a relationship. So it could be that there could be a relationship or an energetic block or something like that that you need to get shifting. Okay, so we have come to the edge beautiful we have her special place find your own sp safe place inside and out we have endurance and we also have the wolf which is heart medicine let go of which that does not serve your highest good okay so first of all what this is showing me is that you guys are really needing to let go of something no longer serves your highest good basically there's something here that you need to let go of that's straining you, something that's making you feel strenuous, something that is kind of holding you back and holding you in a certain position. Okay, sorry about the lighting change. My bright, the light is too bright and it's bland me today. So, so basically for you guys, it's really having the confidence to go forward, having the confidence to go towards the edge. It's basically like making sure you guys are just not worrying. Basically, you guys are worrying too much. And I think in the next 30 days, I think you guys, this is more about your mental energy, your mental capacity, what you're kind of dealing with mentally, okay? So we're gonna have a look into this specifically with the uh, Astro Dice and the Tarot as well. There was a beep outside, that's probably confirmation that most of the time that happens as confirmation. So with heart medicine, and it says let go, which that does not serve your highest good. You guys are really going through some sort of prickly situation. It could be to do with a relationship or some sort of kind of hold you have on yourself where you're not feeling like you can really be vulnerable or kind of go out your comfort zone. So what this is telling me is in the next 30 days, this is more about like mentally, I feel for you guys, what you're mentally kind of gaining. It feels like you're mentally gaining strength, you're mentally gaining happiness and comfort. And I think for a lot of you guys, you feel like the outside world is really scary. And I think it's kind of because maybe you don't feel like you can trust yourself. And I feel like if you can learn to trust yourself and come towards the edge and more, kind of like take more risks in what you wanna do, then you'll get closer to it. And I think it's also starting as well. Some of you guys have a kind of like a lack of confidence in starting something because you think it might not work out. So I think all you need to do is just start it and let it flow freely, okay? So the heart medicine is also showing me you guys don't hold on to the past. I feel like you guys are really holding on to a past relationship or a past mentality and thinking, well, that didn't work out, so it's never gonna work out. And I think the more you live in the past, the more you're going to not experience the future in the present moment. So you've really got to kind of come back to your energy and be in this more earthier space and kind of just ground yourself. And I feel like with this card here especially, you guys have really been lacking in passion. There's something that you want to do in this world and you've really been lacking in it. Also, if you guys, if, if this is nothing to do with kind of forward movement, if it's more to do with just mentally, I feel like for you guys, it's really time to just take a break. I think you've really been working hard 
and it's time to just make sure even if it's not like a full-on break if you just take like an hour to yourself I think it'll make a, a world of difference it's kind of like just productivity if we're not taking time for ourselves to be productive then we're just not going to get anywhere okay so the endurance is also showing me that you guys are going to grow out of like an uncomfortable situation you're going to gain so much experience and you're going to gain so much more confidence and feeling much more comfortable because you're able to gain whatever this is here it feels like you're the flowers here are just growing out of the cactuses so you're kind of growing into this really beautiful energy and you're able to really harness your heart energy so i do feel like you guys are really working on your heart and your mental energy in this group it doesn't feel like so much physical stuff but it does feel like when you shift this there will be physical things coming in for your energy okay Alrighty, so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what it wants to say. So I'm going to do some live shuffling here and we're going to see what wants to come out. So let's start off with the Astro Dice. Alright, so we have the fourth house, the sun and Pisces. Oh, lovely. So very, very spiritual energy. Very much about feeling safe and comfortable within yourself. Very much to do with what I just explained, really. It's kind of to do with the mental energy and feeling safe within, within your mind, within yourself and within your head and feeling like you can really just be yourself. And the sun here is all about you shining your light. And I feel like sometimes when we shine our light, it can make people feel really uncomfortable if they're really suppressing something. So... Don't be too hard on yourself, guys. Don't don't feel the need to suppress your light because others can't handle it. Like, that's their own problem, you know? Like, that's their own journey and that's just stuff that they're going through. And I just feel like you've got to be really, really kind to yourself, okay? So, let's have a look into your tarot and let's see what's going on. All right, so first card out, we have the death card. That's perfect. So, massive transformation. This is all about you transforming your mind, first of all. Yep, and coming into your own <clears throat> personal power. And also could be to do a throat chakra. Because that wasn't really a cough. That was kind of like me clearing my throat. So I feel like you guys are really learning to open your throat chakra. And be vulnerable in the next few weeks. Yeah, for you guys, you're really asking for a promotion or asking for something in work. And you're really allowing yourself to do that. Is there a card in here? No. Okay, we're just going to shuffle and see if it comes out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Reverse, upright. Ooh, so you guys could be manifesting a relationship if that's something that you're looking for. I feel like it's just a slow process. I think within the next 30 days, I think this, I'm actually hearing two to three weeks. So it could be a little bit less than 30 days that you manifest this. But some of you guys, you are feeling like you can't trust somebody and you kind of go back and forth as to how you feel about them and how you feel about the situation. And I think you've just got to trust yourself because that's where the inner power is going to come from, okay? Okay, and then we have the well. The well is very much about your artistic endeavours. It's kind of you getting the most out of it. And essentially, it's your blessings. It's what, what you can get out of the situation. And then we have this card that's kind of doing the weird thing. Okay, we have the world. So I do feel like you are struggling to move forward because you, I feel subconsciously a lot of your emotions, you are holding on to the past. You're thinking everything is going to end up the exact same as it always has been. And it's not going to be like that, guys. I feel like you just got to work on what you feel in the moment and work on those emotions as they come up because that's going to move you forward if you keep consciously working on them. So if you do feel like you are kind of straining in terms of like, wondering on when you're going to move forward just focus on your creativity and what you have right now that's going to really really help you to focus on what what you do have and also i just keep coming back to this five of cups and it is in the middle of the lovers and the well so it's kind of like your creativity is really being just strained i feel because you're thinking about so many things and i think you've really got to figure out okay what suits me what makes me feel good and the lovers is you coming to back to yourself and it could be your morning and old relationship but for some of you guys if you really don't have anyone around you or you're like no there isn't really one to like you know break up with or you know anyone that's going to really like anyone you're letting go of I feel like this is very much to do with you finding yourself and manifesting a really long-term relationship out of that. So we also have Pisces and we have the sun. So Pisces sun are very, very spiritual and it could be you finding your own spiritual home, kind of honing in that spiritual energy within the home. So it could be you're dressing up your house more spiritually, kind of putting crystals in, incense sticks and kind of having like a meditation corner, that sort of thing. And also it comes from loving yourself as well, bringing in that spirituality is it's a way of life really it's not 
even a religion it's really a way of life it's really how we can deeply and um, more sufficiently connect to ourselves you know so I feel like that will really help you guys to um, feel more like yourself. I feel like you guys are going to be feeling a bit more, a bit emotionally sensitive, but I feel like you just got to work with it. And the the four of the, the I can't get my words out to say, oh my God. The fourth house is very much to do with comfort and safety in the home. So you're going to feel much more comfortable in the home. You're going to feel like you can really be at home and feel much more safer where you are, okay? So that is your blessing guys, it's coming towards you. Thank you so much for being here and I really hope you enjoyed this and if you'd like a private reading, all my information's down below and if you would like to check out my jewellery store, also down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you uh, within the next 30 days. So you have this crystal card, which is Tibetan Black Quartz. Do we have another crystal card? Yes, we have two more under here. So let's start off with these ones first and then we'll go back. Okay, don't know what the accent was, all right. So, um, all right, so we have Tibetan Black Quartz, we have Sapphire and we have Sodalite. So we have a little bit of throat chakra energy going on, a little bit of clear quartz kind of crown chakra energy. Not clear quartz, Tibetan Black Quartz, but quartz. Okay, so we have Lighten Up Your Spiritual fa Fast. Wow, my words are really not happening at the moment. Light up your spiritual path, find your tranquil place, deepen your intuition. Wow, all of these are basically about your spiritual journey. So I'm going to have a little read of this. So when to use it, when you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion, when you're pulling tarot cards, when to use it, when resentments are doing more damage to you than to those you're holding them against, enlist sa Sapphire to call forth the old soul that resides within, i.e. the wisest part of you who couldn't possibly care less about what anyone else thinks of you. So delight. When you have a big decision to make, when you're 99% finished a project, but you can't get your head around the 1%, don't seriously give up. Meditate with Sodalite, abandon solution-orientated thinking, surrender to your intuition and watch your problem get solved from someplace much deeper. So very much about going deeper within yourself, meditating and finding something about yourself that you didn't realize before so it's very much about your own spiritual path and i love all these crystals they're very very high vibrational especially this one here um which one is this sapphire yeah so very very beautiful so sodalite is very much about the throat chakra i always associate sodalite with the throat chakra so i feel like for you guys it's very much about holding on to your spiritual journey so you are capable of so much more than what you put put credit for okay so so light isn't very much about the throat chakra so you guys are really kind of opening up to your spirituality in terms of how you're physically and like physically talking about it so you could be kind of talking to a friend about your spirituality and then kind of getting them more into it as well it's almost like you guys are trying to convince people to be on your path but you don't need to do that and I feel like in the next 30 days you're going to start to have a revelation about your spiritual journey and what you really learn and also what you're learning you're learning very much so about what feels good for you and what is going to serve you on this spiritual path and I think definitely trusting your intuition is a really big message from this group and it's very much about just really holding on to how much you love yourself that's that's really important because that's going to drive you through and when you do open up your intuition you open up your heart chakra as well so it's also about being vulnerable because intuition is a very natural relaxed state so when you are being intuitive and like what I'm doing right now like I'm channeling it's a very vulnerable place so it's kind of being comfortable with being in this vulnerable state especially if you're not used to it okay so I'm going to put my light on because I don't really like the shadows that are happening right now. So if the lighting has changed, guys, because I put my light on, I feel like it was a bit too dark. So we have round and round number 25. We then have, what is this? Cry for nature. Mourning for something sacred, which seems lost. Okay. And then we also have thoughtfulness. And the last card out we have is sight. Detach your emotions and situations you cannot control. Okay, so I feel like with these two in particular, you guys have felt like you're going round and around and around. And I think what the best thing for you to do is just pull back from the situation. If we can stop putting our massive amount of attention on it, it will, it will decrease and it, you can detach from it. That is the best way of handling this situation. And I feel like the blessing that you're going to get is very, very much spiritual, very much like group number one, very much like a mental, kind of something you can't really grab physically, but... 
and this is going to bring you towards something you can grab physically so with this cry for nature it says mourning for something sacred which seems lost for a lot of you guys you're feeling quite lonely quite almost i'm hearing a bit desperate i'm not sure what the desperation is for could be for money could be for a job that really suits you but i feel like you just got to work on what you have right now and i'm seeing you guys writing in a diary or journaling and i think that will really help you with your emotions and the round and round, I feel like you guys really do feel like you're going round and round in a circle. And I feel like just centering yourself will really help with that. I definitely feel like this group is very much to do with spirituality. I feel like you may purchase one of these crystals or you may kind of have a spiritual awakening by buying a crystal. I feel like you're going to have some sort of idea coming in through that crystal. And we have the number eight. And the number eight is very much about the unseen. It's, it's what rules by Scorpio. It's the eighth house. So it's very much to do with that deepness within within us and our subconscious so i do feel like there's a lot of thoughts going around in your head and i think you need to focus on the end goal why uh, think about it like all of this is going to help me get to where i need to go even if it feels completely different to where i want to be this is actually leading me to where i'm meant to be going okay so let's have a look at your tarot cards also if you guys need to cry just let yourself oops just let yourself cry okay some of you guys i feel like you're stopping yourself from crying or you're saying to yourself like why am i not crying like why why do i feel like i need to cry but i, I don't and a lot of the times it's because you've either already worked through those emotions and they're just kind of bubbling on the surface and they'll come up when they're ready or it's because you're it's just the energies sometimes the energies cause us to feel a little bit confused and vulnerable and you've just got to work with that and also black onyx is really good for grounding and hematite so if you need a bit of grounding that will really help you okay group number two yep the devil you guys are really working with some deep stuff at the moment you guys are clearing out the old and you may think oh that's what i'm always doing and i think there's some layer that is just going to budge but when it does you're going to feel so much better okay i don't feel like this is the start of it i feel like this is the end of it i think you're going to manage to manifest something new out out of it and it's going to feel really really good you're going to feel like yes my abundance is coming and the world is literally about abundance and i love how we've got that in group one as well so obviously the universe is recognizing that this this video is all about unexpected news and the unexpected news that's coming is that it's going to come from spirit it's going to be a message from spirit and it's going to cause you to direct your path in a different area and you're going to feel so much more comfortable so card underneath is a five of cups so underneath all this energy you've been feeling really really upset a little bit confused and feeling like you can't really acknowledge your own emotions or just focusing too much on the past remember that you are very much in control and sometimes it doesn't feel like it but what you need to do is come away from the emotion sometimes there's a you can do like a visualization or a meditation one visualization that whoa there's a wasp on my window that is crazy for you guys that could be a little sign that never happens so that could be a sign for you guys so also okay what was i going to say i totally forgot oh yeah a visualization that'll be really good for you guys is imagine that you get imagine that you're blowing up a bubble and all your worries are going to go inside this bubble you're going to fill it up completely and as you fill it up it's going to start to increase and increase and increase and get larger and larger and larger and then when it gets to the pivotal point where it can't get any larger it's just going to disperse and with that dispersing it's going to disperse all of your worries and everything is just going to disperse and that's what i feel like is what you're going to manifest it's just complete tranquility and you're just going to let go of everything that no longer serves you and also the ties you have on other people and your expectations for yourself i feel like that's what you're really going to release okay so let's have a look what dice we have all right so we have aquarius very much to do with individuality and kind of being yourself um writing your own path i'm hearing we have the 10th house and you also have the sun so we have the sun in aquarius very nice so funnily enough we had the sun in pisces in the last group so if you guys are tempted to watch group number one i'd go watch that as well because i feel like they're very similar messages so with the number 10 this is all about completion which is fab we also have the 10 of wands and the world which is very much about completion which is amazing so for you guys i literally feel like the bubble is going to burst with you guys and you're going to start to just feel very very whole and complete and the 10th house is very much to do with your accomplishments, it's career, it's your finances, it's your goals, it's your movement forward towards something that's larger than you. And also it's about your dreams and your aspirations. And when I say things are larger than you, I mean just like dreams that you that you want that you haven't attained yet. Okay, so I feel if you guys are physically manifesting 
through writing would really, really help you. So writing down your manifestations and kind of telling the universe what it is that you want, even numbering your manifestations and hearing numbers are quite significant for you. I feel like that helps your mind stay kind of positive because then you're kind of ticking off all the things after you've manifested them. And I feel like numbers are very good for you for some reason. I feel like you're quite, you can be quite a strategic person or you see emotions are quite as quite a strategic thing. So I feel like that will help you to gather your thoughts. So we also have Aquarius, which is very much to do with the mind. It's also to do with being an individual and coming out of your shell. So that's what you're doing. You're kind of like coming away from the old and it could also be an old way of thinking. It could be the old paradigm that you've had for a long time. You're releasing that and you're coming into a much more abundant and also you guys can be like saging yourself and really have a really nice cleansing uh, 30 days, okay? So yeah, I feel like you guys are really writing your own path. I thought that's a really big message for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, also, I see you guys wearing a lot of black. I feel like you're really kind of clearing and cleansing and that just the color black is like a really good color. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like a private reading, then please look down below and you can book through my email or Instagram. And if you would like to look at my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you like this video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got my, one of my fave crystals. I love this crystal. This is called Citrine, which is one of my absolute favorite crystals. And then we also have Damborite, lovely. So it says, when it's time to really get on the grind and start creating the tomorrow of your dreams today, manifest your masterpiece. And Damborite represents when the daily grind has ground you into the pavement, when you feel like launching into space but lack of astronaut training. Vibing with Damborite can help divert your busy mind away from its pesky physics ruled orientation. There's somewhere else out there. Flip on the high beams and explore. So it says turn in your electric light and manifest your masterpiece. So Citrine is very much about manifesting man, i said manifesting <laughs> manifesting and manifesting money so and also Danborite is very much about clearing cleansing kind of getting grounded but also vibing with high vibrations so for you guys it's holding on to your values and using spirituality to manifest your most amazing journey so with citrine it's very much about financial situations so i do feel like you're going to be very financially gaining in the next 30 days and i also feel like you're going to gain some sort of really deep insight around your spirituality and your journey and how you see yourself okay so let's get some more cards oh we have the yang i love that so kind of when i get any crystal that kind of looks like this shape it does remind me of the masculine it reminds me of that phallic symbol and the yang is the number one here as well so we, we have got some new energies coming in oh beautiful we have 31 we have beginnings oh i love that and then we also have the honeybee so i'm also going to look into the tarot as well but we're going to start off with the oracle cards okay so this is interesting first of all i'm going to pull these cards up a little bit more so you guys can see so this is really really interesting so citrine here is showing me that you guys are really going to expand on your money you're going to create unconditional money and you're gonna feel really, 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 really good about it. And I feel like you're going to get complete and un complete unconditional love. I'm gonna bring these down again. It's really, really annoying me. Okay. <laughs> okay so with beauty and the beast unconditional love this is about you seeing both sides of the story so it could be acknowledging somebody for their faults and what you love about them and kind of that balance also the same with you your unconditional love for yourself there's definitely a new beginning we have the divine feminine and we also have the divine masculine so that is amazing very much to do with you balancing out what you love and putting it into action and actually making plans and actually physically doing them and I feel like for you guys, I don't know why I moved those. I literally just do anything my hands tell me to do. So I feel like for you guys, we have the beginnings. This is all about the daffodil. So the daffodil here is being represented as almost like the solar plexus, very similar to the citrine. So it's really about your confidence. You guys are going towards what you want. You are really getting the manifestations coming out now I feel like you're where well, you've been putting in the work and you're going to get your manifestations so the divine feminine here is showing me that you are really coming into your own you're learning that you have everything to give in this world and the yang card is very much through the masculine so you guys are most likely going to manifest a very nice balanced masculine and feminine relationship the yang here is also showing me you guys are very assertive you'll really learn to assert yourself 
and the beginnings is just saying there's a brand new beginning coming ahead which is absolutely beautiful and you were the only group who got this beginnings card so that's amazing and I'm really getting connected to the honeybee and I think a wasp came at my window in group number two I'm pretty sure group number one I think it was group number two so there's definitely something about kind of harvesting and pollinating so if you guys you might actually be getting pregnant if that's something that you want obviously it's going to be a planned pregnancy I don't see anything kind of surprises I mean I you never know but obviously just take the precautions anyway but I'm not predicting it so just just be careful guys okay so with the yang card I do feel like you may get a message from somebody this is the unexpected news reading so you are going to get some unexpected news from most likely a divine feminine person or a divine masculine somebody who um, it's, it feels like somebody's putting out the feelers, they're putting out effort for you. So it's kind of like they're giving you some sort of offer, some sort of message that feels really good. And we do have beauty and the beast. So it's kind of like that energy of balancing out how much, yeah, just really acknowledging your feminine power. And because you love yourself, you want to attract that in a partner as well. And for some of you guys who aren't in, who aren't in relationships, who don't want to be in a relationship or who are already in one, I feel like for you guys, you are really accepting your masculine or you're, if you're the masculine, you're accepting yourself more and you're accepting that everyone is different and that you just got to learn to deal with everyone's differences, even if it can be a little bit uncomfortable. It's kind of going over that threshold. There's definitely a new beginning for you guys. I really feel like your manifest is something that you've been waiting for for a very, very long time and you feel like it's never going to come, but be very, su very surprised because this is like, this is coming in hugely. This is something you've been waiting for for a very long time. We do have number one and number three, uh, number 31, sorry. So we have number one and number 31. So this is three, one and four, very significant numbers. One is about new beginnings. Three is about communication and also about creativity. And four is all about stability and finding that kind of concrete stability and safety in yourself. And that's what I feel like you guys are doing. So that is really, really beautiful. You, the B could also be a very big synchronicity for you. So just take it as it resonates. Alrighty, so let's get your tarot dice. I always call this tarot dice, astrology dice. Yeah, we have the number one again. We have Pisces and we also have the planet of Pluto. Pluto is a really intense planet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pluto is very much about transformation. It is ruled by Scorpio. One of the planets is ruled Scorpio. So it's about the underworld. It's things that you really need to transform. You guys are ready for a new beginning. I'm very excited because the number one is all about a brand new beginning. If this was number 12, I'd say that you're kind of releasing things. You've already done the work. You've already done it. You're on a very high spiritual path now and you are ready for this brand new beginning. Pluto is a really big planet. It's one of the planets that, that kind of is very quite slow but transforms things like intensely so you almost have a 360 with your life I feel this is very exciting okay guys so let's get your tarot and let's see what wants to come out for you guys I won't be surprised we've got a lot of love here because I'm picking up on love so strongly okay so you have the eight of cups beautiful oops that fell on the floor the artist ooh beautiful you guys are going really deep the next few weeks it's like really intense full yep brand new beginnings you guys are really embracing your artistic abilities as well something you're really good at you're just letting it come out and you're letting the, the world see it which is so lovely i'm gonna pull this over here so we've got a bit more room wow this is beautiful High Priestess, Six of Wands. Let's get a couple more. Yeah, massive amount of stability. Some of you guys might be moving in with somebody. We've got the Four of Wands here. I think you guys could be moving house in the next 30 days or looking at houses, kind of putting up your house for sale, something like that. And underneath the, the deck, we have the five of wands with the devil, but I don't feel like that's very accurate. Okay, let me just pull out another one. Okay, we have the 10 of pentacles. So ultimate fulfillment, feeling really, really satisfied with your life, feeling really satisfied with where you're going. 
Okay, so I'm surprised you haven't got any love cards here, but I am sensing love for you guys. So I do feel like in the next 30 days, there is some sort of love offer coming in. So if you're not interested in love, then that's totally fine. We'll just move on. So we have the Eight of Cups with the artist. So can you see like how the people are both looking outwards? They're both looking out for something. So you are really journeying into your mind and seeing what is it that I want to create? And you are gonna create something. You're gonna feel really, really good about it. You're gonna get success out of it as well. So if you guys want to try something new with your money or try something new for full career. I feel like you're gonna get some sort of download about an idea or a, or a career or a job that you could do. And then you possibly go for a job interview or you start your own business and it's really, really successful. You get the money that you want. And I'm hearing I can buy somebody a birthday present. So if some of you guys, you're worrying about money, about possibly purchasing people presents or anything like that, for possibly like Christmas or their birthday or something. So then you're gonna get the money for that because you got the work. So. I feel like it's just taken a matter of time. Maybe you've been kind of looking for jobs for quite a long time. Now you're reaping the rewards and very much so to do with love as well. You're starting to gain much more publicity and people, more people are seeing you and more people are recognizing you and seeing you and thinking, oh wow, they're really attractive. It's almost like someone's turned on a switch and people are starting to notice you more. So I feel like it could be a random encounter that you meet this person. And obviously it's a little bit more difficult with the restrictions and stuff we have at the moment, but I don't feel it being a difficult situation. I feel it's gonna be really easy of how you're gonna meet your person in this, um, but just take it as it resonates, guys. So, so there's definitely something new in your spirituality. You're seeing yourself more open and more able to be vulnerable with people. And that is very much a beautiful thing, especially because when you trust yourself, you trust others so much more easier. And with Pluto, it's just it, that, gorgeous expansion energy and not feeling restricted because you've felt restricted for such a long time and now you're coming out of that restriction which is so good okay i feel need to pull just a couple more tarot cards for you so that's what we're going to do so what comes what happens after the stability what comes with the stability the knight of pentacles so it could be a partnership taurus virgo or capricorn or somebody offering you money but it feels like you may be worrying about the offer at first because maybe you've been single for quite a long time um, don't even worry about it guys let it come in naturally and learn to trust if you you got to look, tune into your intuition and feel if this person feels right to you it could be an Aries a Sag or Leo you could be attracting as well but also you're attracting publicity as well you're you're being more noticed and in your job especially you're being more noticed as well so you're kind of just being noticed overall because you're working on your first house this is about the self it's about your how you introduce yourself to the world it's or your sun sign you know everything like that so you are really being noticed and important people are noticing you as well. It's only your insecurities that you've just got to rework on and know that you you deserve to be seen and you deserve to take up space. And if you ever have any worries about being seen, I feel like you just got to own it and know that you are an individual by yourself. And that's, you know, people love individuality. So, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that reading. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, then all the information is down below. Also along with my crystal shop, Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe and press the subscribe button if you would like to. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's have a look at your crystal cards first. Let me grab the rest of the crystal cards under here. All right, so crystal cards first. We have clear quartz, we have lepidolite, and we also have a celestite. So Celestite always reminds me of like feeling really clear and feeling really open and kind of just feeling at peace. So this is, and it does say tune to your serenity here. So with Lepidolite, it's also a really good crystal to help with anxiety. I include it in my Overwhelm and Anxiety Crystal Kits that I have on my website. If you're interested, all the information is down below for that. And I also include clear quartz in one of the groups. I'm not, I think, I think I include it in my Overwhelm and Anxiety Crystal Kit. I'm not entirely sure, but quartz is really, really good for kind of opening up your intuition and helping you feel clearer. I have it on one of my bracelets that I made today. I really love it. I also have um, Blue Lace Agate, if you're wondering. It's really good for throat chakra. So as I'm talking, it helps kind of clear my voice. And yeah, so it says, when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, call on quartz to help you see the, through the illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe, start manifesting the impossible, enhance your vision. Um, we also have, when freaking out or to prevent that, put the phone on, do not disturb, hold lepidolite in each palm and let yourself be for five minutes. 
and this says wait it's time to stop and really listen when set, set a start as a guide you might be surprised what you hear so it's really very much about kind of clearing your mind so if you guys need to meditate or haven't meditated for a while this is a message to go freaking meditate girl and everyone can meditate different differently if you haven't found your way yet that's totally fine you will find it the universe will show you and help you and the universe definitely helped me i found like a really random instagram post where it basically said to just stare at a candle for two minutes and i thought wow really is that easy and it very much is that easy i was like oh wow okay and that's how i got into meditation so that's a little story time for you okay so we have co-create we have treasure island oops we have, wow, you guys got a lot of cards. Okay, so we have beauty's truth, beauty, physical pleasure, sensuality. Oh, look at that. We have another little guy here. These two people are very, very similar. So I do feel like there's some sort of message that's coming in from a love message because whenever we get Treasure Island, it always reminds me of a love message coming in. So like a watery love message. Wow, you guys have so many cards. Okay, so we have the throat chakra, compassion. We have magnificence. And we also have pride. So your pride could be getting in the way of who you are as well. Your pride could be getting, away in, getting in the way of your magnificence. And then we have grounding. Let's put this guy here. Okay, so lots of different messages. So one of the messages is that you're going to find some people who really, really resonate on your wavelength. They could be people who you meet through social media or who you meet through a group of some kind. And it feels like you are finding much more compassion for yourself because these people are accepting you on your wavelength and they're really listening to you. And you guys are really tuning into your intuition. You're kind of feeling out what feels good for you in that moment. You guys are really learning to just slow down. And for you guys, as I said, meditation is going to really serve you. We have the grounding cards so that will really help. This is very much to do with grounding. And also, it's really funny how we have touch, exchange, connection. We have physical pleasure, sensuality. We also have co-create. So a lot of you guys could be doing the deed. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be getting freaky, getting down. So if you guys don't really have anyone around you, I feel like you could be manifesting somebody who is a lot like you. Somebody who really is your partner in crime. I'm here in partner in crime. And somebody who sees your magnificence and has so much compassion for you in that, in that energy. Like they really see you and want to be in your life. And they're not somebody toxic. They feel very, very authentic. And this is somebody who you might even meet through a group setting. If you guys don't really want a relationship or you're already in one, I feel like you're really working on your pride. I feel like you guys can get distracted quite easily and you can stop yourself from doing things that you really need to do. And sometimes they can be, most of the time we avoid doing things that we really don't want to do because sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable. But actually, if we can just do it, it will help us tomorrow you know or the next day it will help us improve our future and it's just those little things that really assist us in that moment that we can do to really help our journey overall and also it's just becoming aware of when we feel restricted and what is that emotion behind that restriction is it kind of unsafety is it confusion is it anxiety and most of the time it could be anxiety because we do have lepidola here so I do feel like you are really connecting with a lot of people. I feel like you're learning to expand your horizons. You are finding people who really suit you. And I feel like co-create, you could be collaborating with somebody in terms of financial gain or kind of career where you're getting quite a lot out of it and also a friendship. Um, it could even be that you meet a person through work. I really love this connection. It just feels like we've got the green and then we've got the red. This is very much like the heart chakra coming together. And with the touch and exchange and physical pleasure, you guys could be really getting connected with somebody on the physical level. And it could be that you guys are starting a new relationship and this is possibly your first time that you're actually, you know, doing your first time. So it could be really special for you guys. And the Treasure Island just feels like an ultimate amount of abundance coming to you guys. So you guys definitely have one of the best groups. I feel like you have so much in-depth amazingness in there and it just feels like a lot of you guys... I feel like some of you guys are reading with a lot of anxiety though. So if you are, remember to... to just to relax and say no when you mean no and yes when you mean yes and also just try to remain in the moment because a lot of the time is when our anxiety spikes it's we're focusing on what is in front of us and, and far away from us not what's right in front of us and also just do anything you, you can do to relax for me what really helped me was I actually don't think I've ever said this to anyone or anybody or anything um is that podcasts really helped me when I was feeling quite anxious so because it's almost like somebody's talking to you in your ear and it kind of distracts you so I feel like some of you guys use that 
as a kind of message and also music will help you to open up your uh your you know your restrictions and feeling like you can't move okay so we're gonna have a look into your tarot i feel like some of you just feel very restricted and my throat is really itching so i feel like you guys might have a little bit of hay for you but also you might just be suffering with kind of re-speaking your truth and feeling anxious about talking about things so be aware that people do want to listen and if you can find somebody you trust and that's going to be really good for you oh beautiful so you could be manifesting a masculine taurus and um, we also have the fourth house so somebody could be uh living near you you could be moving in with somebody who's a taurus um this is also showing me that you guys are going to get some sort of balance within your masculine energy so you guys have been feeling a little bit unmotivated you're going to start to feel a lot more motivated and you're going to possibly be thinking about moving house or kind of finding a bit more solid ground you're going to be feeling much more solid and that's going to come towards you so if you're feeling unbalanced solidity and i'm hearing companionship is coming towards you as well so definitely a lot of love in this group okay I'm hearing your message is going to be completely different from everybody else's group. So that's interesting. So a lot of you guys could have chosen this group. I'm picking up on somebody who's around very, this is a very specific message. So I'm going to tell you as I'm shuffling. Somebody's around 34 to 35 that I'm picking up on. And you guys haven't been in a relationship for a very long time. You've been single for quite a while. So if you guys have been really suffering and feeling like you aren't going to manifest anyone, I'm just going to tell you that you are going to manifest somebody, okay? You're not going to be alone forever. And it is just a learning curve. You are going to manifest somebody who really suits you and is going to be on your wavelength. You just got to really trust the process and trust that you are going to meet somebody who really suits your needs. You just don't go for people who aren't on your wavelength because that's just going to make things worse. It's going to slow down the process. Okay, that's just like a really specific message. I'm also seeing some of you guys might be getting a new cat or a new dog. I'm seeing like a black kitten. There we go. Beautiful. Two of cups. Um, I'm seeing a black cat or a fish or something. There's just an animal that's coming in that wants to greet you. So it's almost like if you guys haven't even been wanting to manifest a pet or you've been consciously manifesting a pet, I see a pet coming towards you through something. So I don't know if you guys know, but for me, I've always felt like animals find me. So when I want to manifest an animal like a pet or something, just put it out there and, and the, that animal will find you. It's, it's a very spiritual, very spiritual thing. It's like anyone, even with a breeder, like even with a, like a literal dog breeder or cat breeder, that, that animal, that soul is choosing you, which is so cute. I love that. Oh my God. Yes, queen. Okay. So we've got some love here, which is beautiful with the ace of cups. So you guys are really manifesting some gorgeous love, some gorgeous abundance and feeling so happy within yourself. Okay, so one message is, some of you guys, I'm going to burp, that's clarification, so some of you guys have really been working hard on your work, and your career, on your business, on just keep working, you're just like constantly working all the time, so you guys feel like you're not really getting anything out of it in terms of, okay, when is my next manifestation coming, because work isn't my whole life, you know, that's what I'm hearing, so you are going to get some sort of beneficial out of it. You're going to get some sort of financial gain. And then through this financial gain, you're going to end up having some sort of message that brings you towards love. So it could be a new client. It could be a customer. It could be um, a new collaboration, which brings in more money, which brings in somebody new. It could be somebody you're working with that could be a potential partner, a water sign or a Aries. I'm getting massive Aries and Leo from this group, but it could also be Sag. And we do have Taurus and we do also have Mars, which is ruled by the Aries. So that's beautiful. Um, we do have do also have Scorpio and Cancer and Pisces really strongly, and Mars also rules school. Wow, words are so hard today. <laughs> okay, so Mars also rules Scorpio. Okay, so basically there's a lot of like sexual pleasure coming in here, and also a lot of money. So we have money, we have love, we have physical pleasure. Ple wow. We have physical pleasure as well. So lots of manifestations coming in. You guys are not wasting your time, okay? Whether you're working on your business, whether you're working on your health, your mental health, <clears throat> everything is meant to happen. And you're going to have a group of people who are also going to help you get through this as well, get, help you get through this journey and help you find stability with the fourth house. And with the Mars as well, it's somebody who's going to really help you to feel like yourself again. And I feel like you guys, because you're going to get this manifestation that's physical, you're going to feel like you can trust the universe again. I feel like you haven't had a lot of physical abundance for a while, so you're really going to manifest that. 
that is so beautiful i feel like i can say so many things about this group but honestly it's just so much amazingness i'm sensing basically any sort of news coming from career love just a general abundance and feeling really happy there isn't any one card in here that i think oh, was a bit of kind of like confusion or any anxiety very much like i feel like you guys don't give yourself enough credit and you possibly put a lot of pressure on yourself to perform in a certain way or be this kind of perfect image you don't have to be like you just have to be yourself because the more you come away from that the more you'll manifest somebody also who's authentic because you want to balance that out you want to balance yourself out so lots of goodness coming in for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this so thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop if you'd like to subscribe and haven't already please do i'd really really appreciate it and give this video a big old thumbs up and a like if you like this video it really helps me out and gets my video seen so thank you so much guys i really love and appreciate your support and i'll speak to you soon bye